What we're seeing is a sea change in how elections are conducted and financed. Before the first ballot has even been cast in the presidential election, we're already coming close to a billion dollars raised. What's happening now is these outside shadow campaigns are actually collecting unlimited amounts of money thanks to a Supreme Court decision that passed in 2010 and, and it's taking that money and spending it to either support or trash a candidate. Marco Rubio, just another Washington politician you can't trust. The scariest aspect of this whole Citizens United decision is super PACs that don't actually even have to say where they got their money from. Right to Rise USA is responsible for the content of this message. About roughly half of the, the money that's gone into this race has gone to these so-called super PACs or these shadow campaigns, but the Republicans are getting the lion's share. In fact, in a lot of cases, it's the super PACs that are keeping the Republicans on the race. Donations from, from super PAC donors are even outpacing donations to the campaigns themselves. What's wrong with that is that gives, a, that gives certain individuals, wealthy individuals, as well as corporations and, and labor unions, a distinct advantage over others when it comes to influencing elections. Anything, it, it absolutely disproportionately helps the wealthy. Probably the most dramatic difference between a candidate and a super PAC is former Florida Governor Jeb Bush, who actually started raising money for a super PAC before he even declared for president. In the beginning, that super PAC raised over a hundred million dollars. Were, were it not for this super PAC, uh, given what, what Jeb Bush's poll numbers look like, it would be a serious question as to whether he'd even be in the race right now.